Which is the, was the ultimate judge, jury, and executioner. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's not about knowing so much as understanding something about the process by which we acquire reliable knowledge about the world. And, and science is the process by which we acquire reliable knowledge. And so I, I think that it may be I unique realized in that. On it, that. Well, it's, yeah, I, in the sense, I think in a sense that nature is there, whether uh, and, it, and it, the job of the scientist is to find out how it works. And it, of course, as Richard Feynman and many others have famously said, it doesn't care who you are or what your opinion is or how popular you are or how many votes you got or anything, how much money you've got. It just doesn't care. So in that sense, I think it is a unique pursuit because the, the standard by which your opinion is judged is is external to us. It's nothing to do with humanity. Nature is the ultimate judge, jury, and executioner. Yeah. So, yeah. Right. So, so I think I became involved initially just on that very narrow idea that we wanted to make sure that people understood what we did and what the value of it is. And then that branch, that, that became bigger and bigger in my career and, and branched down to television and, and live shows and all sorts of things. But it came from that, that that's, I wasn't interested in communicating science. I was just interested in doing it for a very long time. So you had a certain duty and responsibility to the world. Well, I think we all do. I mean, I've realized since that I, I think, uh, actually Feynman again said, it's a very brilliant essay that anyone can download from 1955, I think it is, called The Value of Science. It's just four pages and it's there. It's on Caltech's archive, I think. And in there, he says that it is our duty as scientists, our duty knowing the great value of, he calls it, he defines science as a satisfactory philosophy of ignorance, which is a beautiful, just merely satisfactory, it's a philosophy of ignorance. You start out from not knowing. And he said, and he said the great value of the satisfactory philosophy of ignorance, the great value of freedom of thought, to proclaim that freedom and to try to protect it for all coming generations, he essentially says at the end. So, but, but I like the, the framing. It is our duty as scientists to do that, as well as do our job which is to find things out about nature. About the natural world. 